everyone happy new year today i'm going to show you how to make this baby mobile so check out the materials required to make this product you need an embroidery hook of 8 to 10 inch diameter wool felt balls of different colors this is also known as felt pom poms you need a thread and a needle step one is to mark a point on both sides of the hoop with the help of a scale I marked it slightly above the center. Cut it out using a cutter. Next step is to drill a hole at the center of these two semicircular pieces. Hold it together, find out the center and make a mark. To drill the hole, I use Dremel 4300. This is a handy power tool for DIY lovers. It does all the basic cutting and drilling for me. Now make two more holes at each side of this arc. Ideally all the holes should be equidistant. I didn't measure, I just eyeball and mark the points. Now it's time to drill. Altogether, I made 5 holes on each piece. Now insert a long thread through one of the hole and take it out through the next hole. Leave a long tail on both ends. Insert the felt pom pom one by one through these threads. Leave gap between each balls. You can add 3 or 4 felt balls according to the length you want. Here I inserted 3 balls at the first hole, 4 at the second hole. Now I finished inserting balls to the first wooden arc. In the same way, I am going to fill the other arc also. Hold both the pieces crisscross and insert a thread through the center holes. I added a felt ball on both sides to keep the hoops tight in position. Then I added 4 more felt balls to the thread. I also secured both the pieces in position with the help of some hot glue. I added hot glue in between the felt balls as well as in between the pieces. Now we have to finish the ends. For that I reinserted the needle through the tail of each thread. I took the thread back through the felt balls and put a knot. Now you can cut off the excess thread. I also added some fairy lights just to make it more attractive. It's up to you. If you want, you can add it or you can skip this step. So that's all for the day. Hope you liked today's project. See you soon with another easy DIY idea. Stay tuned.